there's still something missing in our research in this great cosmic conflict. Perhaps an ancient Hebrew truth long forgotten. I need to consider how the multidimensional reality of the universe plays a role in this conflict and what really happened when Lucifer fell and how it created a dark force within his being that empowers the kingdom of darkness and why the ancient mystery religions, the Nazis, the Freemasons, and the Luciferian elite seek to master this force. And why does this rebellious immortal need humanity in his war against God? Most of all, how the remnant can respond in the last days to all this new information. In his best-selling book, The Shinar Directive, Dr. Michael Lake took us down the Luciferian rabbit hole to discover the matrix of darkness that had engulfed our planet. It would seem that esoteric societies had nearly fulfilled Nimrod's dark directive. However, the Almighty will not allow the enemy to bring his A-team for the final showdown without responding with his own. God is raising up people around the world that are shaking off their techno-sorcery-induced spiritual slumber to answer Heaven's call. There is an end-time empowerment coming for God's remnant, His Sharif. Hell may have its directive, but Heaven has its imperative. The Shirith Imperative, empowering the remnant to overcome the gates of hell, is now available through Biblical Life Resources. It is time for the remnant to awaken and empower themselves to become a part of Heaven's Special Forces.